Nations are expected to agree on extending oil production cuts for another nine months. OPEC members are meeting in Vienna where delegates are considering the extension. Saudi Arabia has already agreed on the need to extend the cuts to help oil prices recover. If passed, the oil production restrictions would stay in place until March next year. Now, Sonia Gallego joins me live from Vienna. Sonia, what more can you tell us? What's expected from this meeting today? Uh, well, as you said, of course, uh, those uh, uh, cuts still expected to extend into next year. Uh, that news off the back of the fact that both Saudi Arabia and Russia, a non-OPEC country, uh, both agree that this would be the best way uh, to move forward. That also received the backing uh, from two other uh, countries, Iran and Iraq. Uh, both of them said that that would perhaps be the best way to go forward to deal with this surplus uh, that they are currently facing in part because of those measures put in place to counteract uh, the shale gas production in the United States, but also as well to deal with uh, the surge in the U.S. supplies as well. Uh, another tactic that is expected to come out, as news of which is expected to come out today, is of course uh, OPEC uh, starting to diminish its uh, uh, ex um, exports or OPEC countries dim diminishing their supplies to the U.S. itself. The, the most, uh, um, uh, the prime um, importer of uh, oil in the world. Uh, so, with all of those factors in place, all of those really still trying to deal with that uh, excess supply, that glut, which has been uh, plaguing the cartel for the past uh, three years or so. So, with all of that, with the non-OPEC countries and with the OPEC countries coming together, really, what we get expected to see is more of the same, Rahila. And Sonia, how much of an influence will this have on the markets and also just more broadly speaking, the challenges facing the cartel? Well, already the markets, uh, the global markets have responded uh, quite vibrantly to this to this expected news. Uh, they have uh, 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 railed up and, and have just rallied in, in, in terms of this or just bringing up the prices of that, which is something that uh, has been more or less received optimistically up till now. But also the other challenges that are being faced is, of course, shale gas is not going to go away. That uh, The cutting of the price may have uh, also uh, felled some, produc uh, some production to some way, certainly the bankruptcies that we've seen with certain companies as well. But of course, also, uh, there was a lot of, um, they, they hedged their bets against that, against that price fixing as well. And of course, that's also meant that uh, the shale gas companies have also become leaner, become meaner, they've adapted to that as well. So that's not a challenge that has, uh, that is going away just yet. Also, another issue is the fact that China is expected to slow its growth. Uh, that also caused Causes some problems for OPEC, not least because this is the second uh, importer of, uh, of oil in the world. All right, Sonia Gallego, live for us there in Vienna. Thank you.